Uh-oh. Hey friends, welcome to Flight Test. I'm Josh. And I'm David. And today we're going to be revisiting our favorite friend, the C-47, in a really big way. Last episode, Josh and Stefan flew the C-47 and the Waco glider, and they had a lot of fun with it. It was amazing. Stefan got his first taste of the FPV chair, and we didn't give the uh, C-47 a lot of love. This time we're gonna be blowing this up, making it a classic monster size airplane and putting it through the paces. Again, we're going through a whole series with this between the Waco glider and also the C-47. We're gonna keep stepping things up until we end in a similar way that we did with our uh, favorite 262 and the P-51 Mustang. So let's go back in time and let's do some building. Awesome. So the really cool thing about this project is this is the first time any of us have built the C-47. John's been working really hard with this design to do something called symbol mapping. Symbol mapping is where basically once you understand what the symbols are, you can take a whole bunch of pieces and be able to read them and go from lots of pieces to sub-assemblies, from sub-assemblies to parts, and then ultimately a finished airplane. These symbols basically work in order and there's a whole playlist that will teach you one by one what each symbol means. Once you understand how to read the symbols, you're off and building without even having to watch a video unless there's any special instructions about the model designs. So we're really putting this to the test today by basically taking what we know, taking a kit we've never built, and building it live in front of you. too loud. This looks fantastic, Dave. I love it. Perfect. So what's your next step? Um, I'm working on trying to hook up the servos to the elevator. Um, we're gonna make some relief cuts along here. Yep. Just uh, to kind of make it a little bit stronger. And more rather scale than, too. Yeah, more scale. It, it'll be a little bit easier than uh, having one solid rudder going across. We put two servos on the bottom. So that way uh, it has a little bit more strength and we don't have to worry about yeah. nose diving into the ground or anything. Exactly. <laughs> We're using differential thrust, which is fantastic for any kind of twin engine, especially when you're pulling, because you don't have to necessarily worry about air going over the tail. A lot of these planes fly so slow. Maybe in the real world, they have plenty of airflow, but in these model, in the model world, this can really help you take off in crosswinds and tow and have just absolute authority with yaw whenever you need it. Um, the C-47 and DC-3 were known for having tail problems. Yeah. Um, you know, they didn't want to actually have any tail control until it started to lift in the air. Matter of fact, a lot of them in the, in the real airplanes, a lot of them had a tailwheel lock where they would pin the tailwheel until they had a certain speed. Then they would unlock the tailwheel and they had authority on their record, which is just, that's a lot of moving parts to take off. So, fantastic. After this then, we are onto the wings? Yes, the wings. Awesome. All right, so while these guys are messing around with this crazy project, I wanna tell you about today's sponsor of this episode, and that is our friends over at Deck. First and foremost, Deck, if you've never heard of them, is an awesome company who makes a drawer system, an organizational system that goes in the bed of your truck to make it organized, 
So us here at Flight Test, we have a truck with an F-150 that we take on work trips, that we take all over the country, and we shove airplanes, we shove a bunch of batteries and whatever it might be in the back of our truck. And so now we can take all of those batteries, airplane parts, glue guns, whatever, you name it, we can open up those drawers, put them in, they've got different compartments, and everything's secure, safe, and there's no rattling. Deck literally makes organizing, accessing, protecting, all of those things super easy for all of your knickknacks that go in the back of your truck. On top of that, you'll literally never have to crawl into the back of your truck again because it comes to you. You pull out the drawers, there it is. So here's another cool thing. Those drawers that pull out, you literally can carry up to 200 pounds worth of stuff in those drawers. On top of that, the drawers are literally at your waist height. So you open them up, grab the thing you need, close them back. There's no bending, no lifting, no nothing. Super simple and convenient. So the deck system has a true 2,000 pound payload capacity floor, right? So when you step on it, throwing things on there, it can carry up to 2,000 pounds, which is mind blowing. And also it's weatherproof, right? So it keeps all of your belongings and all of your stuff protected from the elements and from theft. Another cool thing about Deck is they also offer a full line of storage organizational accessories like various toolboxes, bags, cargo tie downs, and other handy items for maximum efficiency, both of the space and of your time, which is awesome. The deck drawer system is 100% made in the USA, which we love, and it's backed by a three year no hassle warranty with a second to none customer service team ready to answer all of your questions. And you know how much we care so much about customer service with our own product line. The deck team has the same thing in mind for you guys when you get in your deck system, which is really cool. Now personally, probably what I love most about the deck system is that we're gonna have the ability to keep everything organized and in one place, right? So when we travel, we've always kind of thrown stuff in the back of the truck or in the, in the trailer, they can shift and kind of move all over the place. Well, now we're gonna know, we can section those pieces off, we can put them in their own compartments, in their own storage bins, and we'll never have to worry again about, hey, did you bring this, did you bring that? Where is this, where is that? It's all ready to go in those drawer systems and it's super functional and easy, which I love. All right, so here's the best part of all this. This is where you guys come in. If you want a deck system for your truck, which is a must have if you're a truck owner, make sure you go into the link in the description below or go to deck.com slash flight test and you're gonna get free shipping on your order of your deck system, which is pretty unreal. So again, if you're a truck owner, you're gonna want one of these in your life. You're gonna love it. And a huge thanks to deck.com for sponsoring this episode, for making this content possible. They're an awesome company. They even sent us some cool swag. So make sure you go check out their stuff. Give them some love. Now I'm gonna get back to it to see what these guys are doing with this crazy project. Let's go see. What, what's going on here? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I needed some wire. Uh, yeah, the ME262 is uh, seeing better days. So she's gonna go on to serve another life as another plane. So you guys have left in a lot of comments and stuff about our leading edge here. Michael's doing a pretty cool trick that you guys can do at home. And all you need is an iron, or in this case, a monocoat iron, which is for covering film for model airplanes. How are you doing this, bud? Well, basically I'm just taking the heat. It's kind of like almost all the way up. And I'm just running on the edge to fold the foam under and keep the paper sticking to it. And if the paper starts to peel off, I heat it up and I'm running back on my finger over top of it. Or you could use a scrap piece of foam as well. Yeah. Scrap pieces of foam are really good. If you want to kind of figure out what the heat's doing, you can use a scrap piece of foam. It'll take out all the guesswork before you put it to the paper. Also, every iron's a little different, so you can dial up or dial it down. But it changed the whole look of this whole entire airplane really quickly. So basically, after this flight, depending on how it flies, we may go back and build a whole other wing. And uh, we probably should have taken this lesson from the ME262 when we got a really, really thin, huge wing and we got a little bit clutter. Uh, but we're gonna still test fly today. I mean, the whole purpose is to get this big thing in the air, make sure everything balances and works right. So uh, we're on the home stretch. Yes, we should be able to get in the air your, uh, very soon. So this could actually balance out with our 5100 Gems Ace but I want to fly along because Dave needs to fly this before we have to land. I'm notorious for running out the battery. So we're going to put in our 10,000 milliamp 6th off of Tattoo. And I think it's going to probably mount right about here. 
process. I think the final version will definitely have the box the other way, but it is kind of nice for balance. Okay, release. There it is. Perfect. That weight, that's, that's respectable. I bet you that's not even 10, 12 pounds. We're using Greg. We use Greg in the ME262. This is a dolly that Dave designed. It's fantastic. We don't have to have any sketchy launches anymore. Yeah, hopefully it'll uh, build up some airspeed before she goes up in the air. We'll try to keep her down a little bit and let her fly off. We have a ton of wind. We do have the FT Aura inside. Stock tuned, differential thrust setup. Uh, should be pretty simple. Uh, because we don't have a landing gear on it next, that's gonna be in our next episode. Uh, Dave, I wanna just hand you over the plane. Once, once I'm done having fun, we'll give it to you because last time I went to land it, what did I break? Um, you snapped a fuselage in yeah. half with uh, the 3D printer. I don't share well. <laughs> <laughs> Are we ready? Yeah. Everyone Good ready? Uh oh. One of those props does not sound healthy. It's okay, we're up. <laughs> oh. Um, yeah, something's cooking. I smell the electric. Left, uh, there goes yeah. the prop. All right. Well, you know what? She flies great. Easy. Oh, well done. Oh my gosh! What a gentle <laughs> giant. Well done. Thank you. All right. Well, I cooked something. I blew off a prop, and she still came down graceful. I hope that there's enough to put back together. I don't know what I cooked. It sounded like something wasn't happy with one of the motors for sure. Yeah, we'll check it out. Yes. She will fly again. She will fly again. As a matter of fact, I hope you'll fly it again now. Um, I think our next step is we got to get another prop. We have to get another bolt. We got to make sure we lock it down a little bit tighter. Oh, she, it's not even warm, so it's fine. Let me see. Yeah, we're fine. I think all the noises we are hearing and that smell was literally just the center part of that so cooking. That, that, that'll show you what it was. Oh my gosh. Prop slippage, bad. <laughs> all right. Man, that's all. Find a prop, round two, you get to fly. Yep. A few moments later. So we went from these awesome 13 inch HQs. These things deliver so much power and they're so efficient to these pink uh, 13, 12. 13, 12 master air screws. So uh, these are actually like a, a large size race quad prop here. Uh, we'll see how they behave. And at the end of the day, we don't want these things to fall loose. So I think we'll give them a couple tests. Oh, yeah, All right, friends. Round two, this time I'm not flying. Dave gets a chance at the controls. Are you excited? Yes. Awesome. Very excited. Very now, nervous too. If this makes it, this lives, we're going to be revisiting this again. We're going to put landing gear on it. We have some really crazy sketchy things to drop from a very high altitude. But also, if this lives through the whole series, this is coming to Flight Fest with us. If Flight Fest is July 15th to the 18th, there's going to be a link down in the description. If you've never been to one of the coolest RC events in history, this is the place for you. Family friendly, uh, build, fly, learn, all of it's there. So make sure you check that out in the link below. And uh, I'm done with my plug. You ready to fly? Yeah, let's do it. Awesome. All right, ready? Yes. All right, you got this. Oh boy. You got it! <laughs> <laughs> wow. She, she has power beautiful. for days. Look at the speed you got on this thing. You can throttle wow. way back. How's it fly? Oh, it flies tremendously well. <laughs> oh, this is great. Look at that. And you're flying way faster than you even need to, huh? Yeah, I'm All trying right. to back off a little bit. So right now he is literally maybe third throttle. That's incredible. Wow. You have no problems. Look at that. So the C47 is one of your favorite models, right? Yes, yes, by far. Oh, wind got me. <laughs> That's okay. There we go. It just hovered. <laughs> <laughs> on the on the upwind turns, uh, she wants to stall out on me. Is that slow enough? <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh, now you're now you're flying on the prop. Yeah. You want to give it another shot? Uh, yeah. Finish she your turn here. She's flying great. It looks amazing. I'll let you do all the fun stuff this like is, wing overs oh, and everything. Geez. This is probably one of the most reasonable monster builds and stuff. This is a manageable size. The way right, it I'll turn great. her back around into the wind okay. and hand the controls off to you. Feel. 
You ready? Man, thanks for sharing. I never share with my friends. Do you hear something? Yeah. I was just. Am I just bad luck? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Something's not right. Something's loose again. All right, I'm the, it's official. I'm bad luck. All right. It was flying good. <laughs> yeah. I had that. Oh, oh, watch Craig. out, Craig. <laughs> there she is. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we have some work to do here. We got some motor problems. Maybe we should start using new brand new motors every time instead of recycled ones. I don't know. It flew, and it, it flew good. It flew fantastic. We got another mission for this year. We're going to be putting landing gears. Actually, you're going to be designing landing gears. Yeah, right? yeah. Hopefully, um, we can get something that you can take off if you want, put it back on. Yep. And if you guys are fans of 3D printing here, this is going to be a lot of 3D printing, and we're also going to put our awesome 3D print filament called Variasure to make the tires to the test to see how scale of an awesome tire we can make. Along with that, we got some really sketchy, huge things to drop from a very high altitude. There's going to be some carnage. Make sure you hit the subscribe bell, and we'll see you next time.